uh, yeah, I think the first place definitely had the best vibe just because of the space and we were able to sit down and actually all sit in one room and listen to everything comfortably. With I found couches? The second one was very uncomfortable and uh, really hard to listen to because it was a long, narrow control room. Um, I think the best vibe we got was in Metalworks and that was just because it was oh, huge. Was awesome. You know, just felt like we were real rock stars. Uh, Instrument wise, nothing, but I had a, oh, a, a MacBook uh, <laughs> fall casualty to Zoo 2. A lot of the discussion uh, while we were in the recording room, just between, just uh, you know, about our takes and stuff, making sure that they were all, um, I guess, what we were looking for, because it was the first time we ever recorded that way, where we all um, played in one room live together. So we just wanted to make sure. I guess the biggest thing were, was tempos and just the feel. Uh, so. We, you know, a lot of discussions around that, and uh, I guess also about toppings for our Pizza Nova pizzas. Yeah. I guess to for the balance of life with uh, relationships and work and all that stuff. Uh, I guess work for me is easy in comparison to scheduling because I'm a nine to five, so weekends are free, nights are free, um, and relationships. We kind of talk about this together but we you know just making the schedule known and that we you know letting our wives or girlfriends know that that's the time and uh, in most cases um, the our significant others have come into the situation after we've been in the band so I think there's a general understanding that they know that okay this is what they do on these nights or this day and there's gonna be other different shows or that kind of thing in the the interim as well so they understand, but also, you know, grateful that they are so understanding and they're not, uh, you know, so, uh, what's the word, uh, bitchy about it? <laughs> <laughs>